What's up guys, welcome to my channel. Tonight we're checking out Shiny again, and the next song in their journey is One of One. Uh, I was very pleasantly surprised uh, uh, for their last song, Married to the Music, because it seemed like they went back to their old school vibey sound, and it was amazing. Disco track, very, very, very well done, with a very strange video, but you guys explained that to me. Uh, and I guess it kind of makes sense. So, let's see what they have in store for us this time. I don't expect that it's going to last, uh, obviously, because the, so far the journey has been a roller coaster. But I've been here for every minute of it. So, let's find out what they have for us next. This is Shiny with One of One. Oh, keys second. <laughs> I love it already. Whoa, 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 whoa. How are they gonna? Sh how are they gonna skip Mino? Okay. A whole verse without a full rotation. Oh, the little Michael Jackson thing. The song's a vibe. Okay, Pepsi again. Okay, okay, okay. I know we're gonna get to the chorus eventually. Okay, so yeah, it makes sense, right? The parts are very, you know, evenly distributed between the four members here. My and, and Mino just didn't get a part. Songwriting wise, it does make sense. Like it fits. Like that. There was nothing really else to do. It would have felt like a stretch, or one of those parts would have would have uh, uh, been cut in half, right? To to make room for him. Uh, so it's understandable songwriting wise. It makes sense because you give each one uh, uh, that complete line or those complete couple of lines and it's just it just completes the vibe. So I'm assuming he's going to get more uh, or maybe possibly the first position in the second verse, but we'll find out. OK. All right. Let's go back and finally uh, pay attention to this uh, chorus. Yeah. And Pepsi's back. I love it. Is that? What the hell? What the hell? <clears throat> no wonder they skipped him. What the? What is this? What is this look? I mean, to be frank, you know, to be frank, all of the looks, but that look. Okay, hold on. I need to. Let's just. Mino, come on, come on, man. I, have we seen Mino with blonde hair? I feel like I haven't because I think I would have fucking freaked out. Oh, well, uh, I, I don't know. Maybe the girls loved it. I don't see how, but I guess with the glasses and the, I, I swear to God, I don't know what this jacket is. This little short tie and the big old chain. Did they go? Did they like? Did they visit a thrift store? What the hell? Okay. All right, Mino. Okay. All right. The outfits are so random. Is this the first time I've seen them with backup dancers? 
Also, they didn't start with Mino. There he is. Whoa, come on, dude. Hold on. Key two. No, 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 no. Hold on, Jungian. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so you're going to skip Mino in the first verse. Second verse, he comes in third. Obviously, it's all positions, but whatever. That's just the way I'm thinking about it. He comes in third, and then you do that to him? I barely could recognize his voice. There was so much freaking auto-tune on his voice. And then Key came in, and the same exact thing. Again, auto-tune is just an effect. It's an overuse effect, obviously. Uh, but not just with SM or with Shiny. With it, with any time it's used, just over. It's overused. That part definitely did not need that auto tune, and especially when this is his first time coming into the song, other than him singing the chorus, and they they uh they put him in the front, and they do that. I mean, I know the hair and the outfit's questionable for me, no, but he did not deserve that. He didn't deserve it, and they don't need it. That's the that's the interesting thing. Uh, and this song doesn't need it either. Like, there's nothing about this song tells me it needs auto-tune, right? Like, just uh, this is my personal opinion. But, yeah, I'm not sure about that. Okay, let's go back and let's hear it again, which I think it's Mino and Key in this section. Yeah, barely recognizable. Same thing for Key. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Also, why is Anu always sitting? Ooh, who the hell was that? Who, did you hear that backup back there? Did you hear all that? Ooh, I can't even do it. All that little fluctuation down there. Who the hell was that? That was you, wasn't it, Jong Yun? Ooh, I feel like that wasn't Jong Yun. It makes sense if it was him because he can obviously do that. I feel like that was Taman. Just listen to it. It's just a high pitch uh, backup back there. It may be the only backup back there, uh, to be honest with you. But right underneath, he's singing that main line, very fluttery, very uh, 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 just all up and down and vibey. That was super, super nice. Let's go back. All up. Yeah, I don't know who that was, but that was nice. And yes, where the hell is Anu? There he is. Okay, we're going to talk about this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we get to the bridge. I feel like you guys would have mentioned this uh, if something was, was amiss, right? Or... Uh, something was going to be different about uh, uh, the next song, just like you did pointing out that Zhang Hyun wasn't going to be in one of the music videos. Have y'all told me about Anu? He seems to be sitting more than he's not, and he's not doing the choreo with the guys. Was he in an accident, or was he hurt in you know, practice or something like that? You guys let me know. Uh, and obviously, it, it must have not been serious if it was something like that, because uh, he's obviously back, but uh, or made it back after this. But yeah, you guys let me know. He sounds great, but he's definitely not uh, part of the choreo. So, all right, let's go back a little bit and see what this bridge is. Ooh, guitar. Whoa. That was interesting. I thought one of them was going to be in the back of that. Very nice. <laughs> Did you 
see Anu right there. I, he may not be standing, but he's happy as hell sitting in sitting in that group of women. Look at his ass. Look at Anu. Hold on. Look at him, dude. He's freaking happy as hell, dude. He's smiling. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't be? He's sitting, you know, he's surrounded by like 30 women. But let's just go back. He's so happy. Also, one of one? How can it be one of one when there's like 30 of them? Get it, Anu. Ooh, that choreo. Oh, was that him standing right? Was he dancing right there? Yeah, he's dancing there. Well, he's standing dancing, but not really moving around. Very, very, very nice. That was really, really good. I know uh, I mentioned George Michael a lot or Wham, just because they just give me that vibe, and they did in the last song as well. This song, uh, and the last one as well, but I, I forgot to mention it, Cool in the Gang is a very clear uh, uh, inspiration for songs like this too, just because they were such a big part of that, of that sound from Married to the Music and One of One. Just nice, vibey, party type of, uh, of songs. They were so, so good at it. And this song is one of those songs. It's interesting because there's not like a lot to talk about because it's just a vibe, like all the way through. It felt the same all the way through, which is perfectly fine because if you have something good, just write it out. And every part just suited uh, the other part so well and you just constantly stayed in that vibe. Now, to me, it is interesting like I said, the Mino section, like, and then, then Anu not dancing. Was he hurt? You guys let me know. Uh, because obviously towards the end, he was standing there, but he definitely wasn't moving. And I felt like he looked like he was favoring that left leg. But you guys let me know. Either way, this song is great. It's playlist. If you enjoy this content, please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next time. Peace.